Okay, today we'll be opening up this used EcoGuard oil filter, number X2500. And a very generous viewer, whose name is Roberto, from Ottawa, Canada, sent me this used oil filter. Thanks, Roberto. This filter was in service for 14 Canadian winter weeks, 1,870 miles, and came off of Roberto's 2010 Dodge Dakota. Yep, the one with the 3.7 liter V6 engine. He was using Shell Rotella 5W20 oil during this period. Let's open up this filter and see how it looks. So let's get started. It's just a network. You got a really good silicone. Be nice and tight. You got your end of here. Filtration. Okay, so before we cut this filter open, let's take a quick look at it. We got a date code here. 1-18-19. And it says 91. And right here it says, made in China. And here's some filters that it crosses over to. This filter has eight inlet holes, metal core with holes, bypass valve down below, and this nitro rubber gasket. Which is pretty thick. It's on here pretty good too. Okay, we'll put that to the side for now. And um, let's cut this filter open. Not much oil. Okay, put that to the side. Oh wow, this looks like it seals nicely on huh? nitro rubber and drain back valve. Yeah, it looks like it'd do a good job sealing. It's on there pretty good. It's hard to get off with these gloves on. Yeah, it all looks good. It's nice. And it fits on there really tight. Let's see the filter element here. You got a metal crimp seam, metal end caps, bypass valve right there. That's pretty clean though, excess glue. Big space here though. Hmm. Now I'll put the number of pleats on the screen. Yeah, that's a big space. That don't, you know. Looks like it almost started. See, it started to tear right there. I think it did. I think it started to tear right there. See that? Yeah. Well, this filter is a synthetic blend media with a 96% multi-pass efficiency rating of 20 microns. It's sm particles as small as 20 microns. And I'm getting that off of uh, the EcoGuard website. EcoGuard.com Yeah, that don't look good though. A lot of pleats. Pretty deep also. And we got a big coil spring. And can Let's see not really any sludging going on here looks pretty clean to get some measurements okay I'm getting about 0.65 millimeters thick yeah it's a pretty thick can and the filter element is 2.08 inches wide Yeah, so besides that, which is uh, it's pretty bad right there. Yeah, it, tear, it, it got torn on both sides, that side and that side. Let's, um, if I guess on here I can pick it open with you here a little bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can see that's torn. Definitely torn. Yep. All right, well, let me cut this filter media open, squeeze it out, stretch it out, and uh, see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so here's the filter cut open, and this filter is 52 inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on this filter media. 0.55 millimeters thick. Pretty thin stuff. This is the filtering side, back side. And it did, this filter did catch some stuff, but you're gonna see a lot of light spots in the, in the microscope picture. So let's take a look at that right now. So as you can see, there's some soot particles, um, but there's also some light spots. Well, let's take a look at this filter up close. So you can see there's really, it's just dark, but there's no uh, soot particles or no sparklies. It's pretty clean. Let's take a look at it real quick. I mean, I wouldn't use this filter anyways. Not after seeing that tear in it. Okay, and let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So we got a pretty good gasket right here. It's nice and thick. You see this is the side that was against the block. It's a little flattened. But that, look, that looks good. Coil spring looks fine. Any drain back valve, it's a nice tight fit on this guy. So this is nice. The center core, you know, they got these holes. These are rough. Look. It's strange because they're, it's like they're stamped wrong because they're, in the inside they're, they're smooth. And the outside they're rough, so they should be stamped the other way around. But I mean, there's a lot of nice holes here. It's got a, it's got a ridge here, so you know the paper might not rub against it. The filter element, I mean, the filter paper might not rub against it, but still, I think it's wrong, made wrong anyways. And the can I remeasured it, so it was a little thinner than I thought it was first time I measured it, so. You know, it's got a little soot in there, but it's it's pretty clean overall. So the can, it's a nice thick can. There's nothing wrong with this can. It's pretty good. So what do you guys think about this filter? So again, I want to thank Roberto for sending me this used EcoGuard oil filter. And I also want to mention Roberto has two auto-related YouTube channels. Check out his channels. I'll put the links to them down below. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Friday. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.